I am looking for a monkey. He keeps trying to fuck around and find out, and it's about time I put this spear up his ass. I didn't expect that. What is going on YouTube universe? This is Zira and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the continuation of our journey to the west with Black Myth Wukong. If you are new around here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Whatever the case may be, sit back, relax, it is game time. Now, as you can see on screen, we're back in the prison and you're probably wondering, Zira, we were out of this place. Why the fuck have you even come back? Well, I alluded to it in the previous episode and I went through my inventory and found out that I actually already have the spirit of all four captains. Now, I don't know how I found the fourth. I don't remember fighting a fourth. I do remember stumbling across a, a deity or a dead boss just in the wild. And I didn't think much of it. I thought I was just clearing it out of the way by making it disappear. Turns out I very well could have absorbed the soul of a captain that was just already dead. Um, oh, you fucking dog. So, we have come back to the prison because I did allude to the fact that there is a man. Fucking. He's off. This guy here was talking about me defeating his captains, and I want to see what he says now that we've gotten all four. Oh, it's you. You're still alive. And I see you've slain one of my captains and helped yourself to break in. I've slain more than one. Four loyal captains. Now four bewildered souls. Can you free them from that pain if you truly are the destined one? Yep. Thank you for bringing them back. <sighs> The suffering has ended. What are you going to give me? When I left home young, I too saw myself as destined. But look at me. And the destiny of those who followed my cause. Take this. I don't need it anymore. Is that a weapon? Like, is it a curio? No, I suppose we're about to find out. The chew by spearhead, which is going to make us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got a piece that we can craft a new weapon with. If I've got the pieces to do so and it packs a punch, I think we're going to dive on in. Today's episode is going to be a little bit better structured because I've got some things in sight that I want to make sure I get done. Let's look at this weapon though. It takes our attack all the way up to 75. Unique effect. Integrate spear techniques into light attack combo and increases the damage dealt by thrust stance moves. We lose our critical hit chance, but this thing... Looks like it could hit hard. Let's craft it. I still can't wait to unlock that one. We're still missing a piece, which tells me we still have one more dragon to defeat. But then we've got Kun Steel, and we're going to need 45,000 will. But it works with only pillar, like it betters the pillar stance, and I don't really use the pillar stance all that much, but we're sacrificing... 6% critical hit chance, which isn't much. So I'm, I'm hoping this spear that we're going to run with now is something that can provide us something a little bit different. Now we can head back to the New West. And we're heading to the Brook of Bliss. 
If you've been following this series, by the way, if you haven't, there is a playlist linked in the description down below. You guys are welcome. We have picked up a side quest in helping a stranger, and he has essentially said that there is a treasure to be found. If he finds it, he'll split it with us. Um, fact of the matter is, though, if we find it first, which is what the side quest is going to make us do, we'll probably be rewarded handsomely for it. So... Let's charge up our heavy attack. I want to see how much this does, considering it's a spear. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, alright. Yep. Okay. So, I did do a little bit of a cheeky Google search. Now, I've been avoiding that throughout this whole playthrough. I've noticed how... I don't know whether you just noticed that then, but his uh, light attack chain has changed. You fucking bastard thing. Fuck off. Anyway, as I was saying, um, we have picked up a side quest where we're going to go find a treasure and... I've been led to believe that it's going to be one of the most powerful um, spells that we can use in the entire game, which is going to make us OP, and anything that's going to potentially make us stronger, I'm I'm all down to get. I don't know how I feel about this spear yet. We'll use it for a little bit. Um, if we come across any mini-bosses or bosses in the meantime, I'm sure that'll be a good taste of where we are at. I don't know how big 6% critical hit chance truly is. Am I underestimating it? We need to drop down here. A little hidden area down here that we can get ourselves involved with. Oh, thank fuck there's a... Thank you very much. Saves us the trouble. Let's make sure we're rested. Even if it's only slightly. I'm going to assume it's in here. Yeah, we, we've got something down here. I am worried. Time and again I tested you, and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <sighs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. Okay, Tarzan. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life. We got a hula hoop up in this bitch. Come on now. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, fucking dog. Oh, I've still got Ring of Fire equipped instead of a loot. No, I need to mobilize. Can you stop spinning around for one second, please? I don't know why I threw that down. My monkeys have been wasted. Bravely without a plan. 
Dance, boy, we can dance. Come on. Come on, Johnny Cash. Oh, you fucking ring of fire bastard. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I'm getting my ass ran over. Like it's the Fast and the Furious up in this bitch. Oh, hello. Hardly fair, you green capped asshole. Oh, you no, you fucking do not. You're fucking. But testing you was clearly the Oh, at least now I can go and equip the spells I should have been equipping and. Probably not look like an absolute fucking idiot on camera, right? I mean, I got that quota of my video out of the day, you know, out of the way, out of the day. See, I'm stumbling already. Fuck me. I've done the wrong thing again and I've spawned them in when he's fucking playing hula hoop the bastard. Have a look at him bounce my fucking Wukongs around. Stop it. Stop it, you bastard. Turn into a fucking wheel again. Let's go, bitch. Yes. Fuck off. Foolhardy. Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again. Yeah, okay, Doctor Strange. Fuck off out of here. I have returned to life. Where death once dominated.
Oh. Welcome to the melon garden. If I could get myself some melons, that'd be that'd be fantastic. You know what I mean? <laughs> this little no Buddha way, bitch is back. <laughs> Rest easy. My spirit yeah, animal, this little bastard. Titties and all. Screamings here. A nice, ripe melon. Mm. Want a bite? Step out the side, you didn't munch into you little fuck. Mm. How rude. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Now you found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. What are you doing fucking diddling my hand like that for? <laughs> the Spellbinder spell. Bind spells, vessels, transformations, and soul skills to enhance attack, focusing solely on martial arts to subdue enemies. I think it up to doubles your attack, so if we're at 300, we're dealing out 600. We can go absolutely OP now. Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me. Wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? I suppose we're about to be transported back to the normal. We're setting that spell, baby. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's just a matter of which spell slot it takes over. Oh, it takes over a mobilize. No. Oh, that sucks. Because a mobilize has been so good to me just for that time to freeze. But I mean, if this is going to give us. It's active for 90 seconds. We're going to have to give it a crack. Just to see whether it's worth giving up Immobilize. Because I've invested so heavily into Immobilize. It's not funny. Now, we're going to have to go back to Longevity Road. I don't know whether the temple, the Thunderclap Temple, is where we need to be. But we haven't activated any shrines up near Thunderclap Temple just yet. And given the fact that we didn't really... Ch oh, I didn't want to do that. Thank you. We haven't really taken the time to check out the Thunderclap Temple all that much because we had a boss fight that we were particularly looking for. So I want to see whether we can dodge and weave this eagle bastard. Dodge and wave, dodge and wave. No. Dodge, wave. Dodge, wave. Fuck. Didn't go according to plan, but it's okay because we have infinite uses of this snow fox brush. I'm curious to know whether we can carry this with us for the entire playthrough moving forward because uh, it's been prudent in the last couple of episodes for us just being able to escape enemy clutches and kind of scope things out without being, you know, hunted down, which is how we're going to get into this temple again. Because we were able to kind of maneuver around all the enemies on the inside so valiantly that we're going to do it all over again and see if we can't find ourselves a save spot in here in the way of a shrine, whether there isn't another boss fight for us to take on. I know there is a four-legged 
fucking Motaru looking Mortal Kombat bastard in this place. Are you? There was one right here. Didn't see that the first time I came into this place. That at least saves us the travel past all those guys back outside. It's now a matter of about maneuvering around the monks on the inside. And these guys pack a furious punch. They might be blind. Well, some of them anyway. That Kratos looking motherfucker knows what he's doing. Yeah, crush this, mate. Get wrecked. Catch me if you can. See, the reaction times, thankfully, are rather slow. So I'm able to kind of maneuver around them all. Like, I know this is XP waiting to be grabbed. But, oh, yeah. See, this guy right here. Oh, he's a spirit fucking thing, too. Come on, my Wukongs. Oh, that uses a lot of my mana now because I've got so many of them spawning. Kill him! Good night. Thank you, my Wukong army. We will take this spirit. Beautiful. We have the clay Vajra. Or the, the clay Vag. <laughs> we got the clay Vag. All right. There's got to be something up here. We still have to take on that monkey again. This definitely looks like a... Holy shit. Two of these fucking bastards. Oh See, this is why... This is why I've got the fox. What does the fox say? The fox says, get fucked. I ain't taking on two of these bastards. See you later. Catch me if you can. Climb some stairs. Do some cardio. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. It looks like, given the amount of mana it's going to cost for me to do the Spellbind, I think it's going to cost me my entire mana bar in order to do so. So I'm hoping the trade-off is worth it in the long run. And if it is, we've just gone and done ourselves a, a solid favor. Is Monkey Man behind here? I am looking for a monkey. He keeps trying to fuck around and find out, and it's about time I put this spear up his ass. You, you Buddha Years bastard! Ago, Jin Janzo and I were peers. Ever questing with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Are we taking on Chubby Chub Chub? Why bet on the Sutra when one oneself can be a Buddha? Oh, the 
the Buddha of the future. I didn't expect that. All right. Spellbinder. <laughs> the front gate is sealed. Why not shield and join my This does pack a mighty punch. This is OP as fuck. I'm out of stamina. Should have seen that coming. Where'd you go, Buddha man? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. Oh, fuck! I dodged before the wave hit. Oh, fuck. But that... That Spellbinder move. Oh, we are going to have some fun with this thing. This, this I think, is about to turn the tides of our entire playthrough. The one thing I'm worried about is if we take down this guy, is he the final boss? Because that means we haven't defeated that monkey yet. And I don't know whether we need to do so in order to... You know what I mean? Like, I don't know... I don't know what we're doing. We might have to... We're going to commit to this fight. If I have to return to this location to defeat that monkey, I will do so. Oh yeah, that 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 hurt. You put me down. Holy fucking shit! You can't bat me out of the air while I'm charging a fucking heavy attack, you asshole! I was out of stamina and it charged by itself. Oh no. Yeah, I learnt from my mistakes this time. Come on, you big bitch!
All right, let's dodge. Fucking beat fuck. That's cheating. Come on. Where'd you go? <laughs> what? Did I defeat him? My sack awaits misguided souls. I'll show you my sack in a minute. Go with him and find enlightenment. Um, what?